All right, everybody, this is the Math 31 Limits Review, and we're working through question 1F. Okay, now just take a look. I've got a rational here, so I do have the possibility that this, this might require some work here. If you plug a 0 in, you're going to get 0 minus 0 over 0. Okay, so this is the indeterminate form. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I've got to do a little bit of work. I'm going to rationalize, let's rationalize the denominator here. So I'm going to take the limit as x approaches 0. Remember, you have to keep writing that. Okay, you have to keep writing the limit as x approaches 0 until you plug in the 0. Once you plug in the 0, you don't have to write that anymore. So now I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by root x. Hopefully this will, this will fix my problem here. And if I do that, okay, remember this is still the limit as x approaches 0. If I distribute that through, I will get 4x root x minus x, okay, all over 3x. Okay, so this is now going to be the limit as x approaches 0. I can factor an x out of the numerator. Okay. And so now, the x is here, the numerator and denominator will, will cancel. x divided by x is 1. So this will become the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 root x minus 1 over 3. Now this is true as long as x is not allowed to equal 0. I can cancel those. Or, or at least, sorry, maybe not cancel, don't say cancel, but x divided by x is, is 1 so long as x is not equal to 0. But that is okay because I'm taking the limit as x approaches 0. I'm never actually going to get there. And now, plug in the 0. 4 times root 0. Well, root 0 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 over 3. And the answer is negative 1 third. And that's the limit that I'm looking for.